Welcome back to Warzone Workshop. I thought I might uh, just take a little look at my, my friend here, my little buddy over here. This is my Ace Tech 6000 Bluetooth. Say hi. <laughs> Friendly little fellow. Uh, this is, uh, of course, my chronograph that I use for um, finding the velocity and rate of fire for my airsoft guns uh, so that I can, um, you know, incorporate that into either reviews or um, just general knowledge for me uh, when I'm doing tech work uh, especially if I'm you know helping someone else with one of their guns uh, and uh, I just thought I might uh, show you show you how it works just in case maybe you were thinking of getting one um, this is the first chronograph I've ever owned and uh, I love it <laughs> I have nothing really to compare it to I just I know it's one of the better ones uh out there and it's got bluetooth so i mean it's gotta be good right so um how's it work well inside of this thing there is a it's kind of like a little like sensor and as you shoot the bb into one side it passes through the sensor and then it gauges how long it takes for it to pass through that sensor and then the other sensor you know the two of them cross and then it determines how fast it's going and then how many of them travel through in a certain amount of time determines your rate of fire oversimplified that's how it does it and uh, it's got a whole bunch of different settings you can set it for the different weights of the bbs um whether you want it to be in this measurement or that measurement so if you want to do uh fps or if you want to do like um the actual force if you want to do like you know find out the jewel uh, it'll it'll tell you all that so um yeah that's how that works let's go ahead and pop something through it and uh see what it's saying so uh i got it set up here and i'm gonna go grab my tokyo movie vsl 10 it's probably one of the most consistent guns in my collection and we'll pop a few rounds through it and see in real time how it how it, you know how, how it does got some uh, bags of lancer tactical 0.25 gonna be taking some shots with my tokyo Murui vsr 10 with a katana weapon charm so you know it's gonna be doing double damage let's go ahead and take some shots and Two nine nine point six. Two six eight. Two nine nine point nine. Two nine nine. This thing is totally stock on the inside. No improvements or modifications. Two nine seven point eight. And uh, my chronograph is set for 0.25 gram. Two nine nine point five. Two nine six point nine. Two nine nine point nine. <laughs> two nine nine point two. Three hundred point seven. I'd say that's uh, that's that's pretty consistent. And this chronograph is definitely, uh, definitely keeping up with my shot to shot. But uh, how about rate of fire? I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the curtain down there and just open it up completely to the outside. Because uh, the next gun will definitely be shooting hot enough to damage the curtain. Up next will be my LCT AMD. I will be firing it with a drum.
first uh, a shot on semi. Four hundred and forty nine point five, four hundred forty seven point two, four four three point eight, four four six point two, four four seven point eight, four four three. All right, now full auto. Fourteen point five for my rounds per second. With an eleven one lipo. And uh it keeps up with it just fine. Let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Yeah, all in all, it's a wonderful little chronograph if you want to get an ace tech. Um I haven't really used the whole Bluetooth function of it, but I, I suppose if I went out to a field, um, it'd be helpful to have my phone hooked up to it and, you know, just sit back and have all the, all the numbers being, you know, put through to my phone so that someone could be up testing their gun and if something hot came through, I wouldn't miss it.